you were talking about uh, Alpha being public. Are, are you also public? It says private school, but but in we America, are a that private means... school. Okay. Yeah. So Alpha is actually with the Board of Education. Okay. It ha it has been buying up alternative schools. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, they have about twenty one alternative schools in mm -hmm. the Toronto District School Board. Wow. And and so they see the benefit of it, but it's very on the low uh -huh, because right. the the pushback from the conventional system is so much. Yeah, yeah. So no, we are not part of the boards. Yeah, okay. We are recognized because okay. here in Ontario, the law provides for the two different types of private schools. Hmm. So private schools do not get government money, only mm -hmm. public schools, Catholic schools, because Alpha is an alternative school that's in the public school. So people can go there and not pay. It's covered by taxes and mm -hmm. they can still have this self-directed. It's a Summer Hill, Sudbury Valley style. Okay. Right. So, yeah, we don't get any funding. It's mm -hmm. simply parents paying what they can when they can. Yep. Or yep. our regular fees are just registration fees mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. then everything else will be a la carte. You know, if you I only see. have to pay $350 for the year and then if if you need help for, you know, a few hours of coaching or a con accountability, then we just charge that separately and mm -hmm. you're not spending a ton of money on on the school. Right. So it's not a huge income provider is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I believe it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. it, it you learn you, you get free, you give free, right? So as long as I can cover my expenses for the business and the school and myself, then whatever I can do to help make it easier for people. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm is is what I do. And I have such a huge amount of resources mm. that I, as I was telling one parent this morning, my goal is to become redundant. Yeah. <laughs> I want to empower people to be independent, to go do their own thing and be able to do it well and what they need. And so if any of the information that I have acquired over the last 40 years will help them, then that's what I do. So not, not big on the cash flow, but yeah. big 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 on the providing people with the information they know they they need to be free and independent right right very cool so so you're really kind of building capacity in your community and now a global community but yeah. <laughs> uh you know building yeah. capacity in your community to really enable families to really take charge of their own education as families yeah yeah this is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.